Hey there, it's Rosie, and in this video, I'm sharing my recipe for sweet potato pie cinnamon rolls. This is my recipe, and if you want the exact measurements, visit my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. This is going to be a fall brunch collaboration, and I'm collaborating with Be My Guest with Denise. She is amazing. As a matter of fact, she is so amazing that she's doing two recipes instead of one. She made these crustless broccoli quiche, as well as these ham and cheese sliders. Down below in my description box, I'm going to leave a link to her channel so you can check her out. She's amazing. I mean, look at all these other videos that she's already uploaded. Be sure to check her out. You won't regret it. Now let's get to these cinnamon rolls. These are sweet potato pie cinnamon rolls at that. We're going to start off with our dough. So I'll be using my stand mixer, but you can do this by hand. I poured in some warm water and now I'm sprinkling in my active dry yeast. Sprinkle in some granulated sugar. And then you're going to mix everything until the sugar and the yeast is well dissolved or well incorporated. And now we're going to let this sit for about five to 10 minutes or until it foams. Meanwhile, we're going to melt some butter flavored shortening, okay? And you want to just melt it. I'll, I'll be melting it over low heat. I don't want it to get hot. I just want to melt it. And now I'm going to pour that into the bowl. Now, don't forget, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Also, share it with your friends. And now we're going to sprinkle in some salt. I attach my dough hooks and now I'm going to start adding in a little bit of flour. I'm not going to add it all at once. I'm just going to gradually add it while I'm mixing. I added in one large egg that was at room temperature. We're going to continue to mix and this is on a medium speed. And now I'm going to start pouring in some warm milk and that's just regular old milk. So eventually your dough is going to look like this. Once it does look like that, we're going to remove it from that bowl and we're going to knead it with our hands for about five to 10 minutes. After you're done kneading, you're going to place this back into the bowl, but make sure you grease or oil that bowl before you place that dough back in there. So now you're going to cover the dough and let it sit for about an hour and a half and let it rest in a nice warm draft free place. I always just place it in my oven. So in this bowl, I have some mashed sweet potatoes. I just peeled a sweet potato, boiled it, and then I mashed it. I added in some unsalted butter, I'm sprinkling in some sugar, and now we're going to add in one large egg. Grab your handheld mixer, or you can mix it by hand and just mix it at a medium speed. And now we're going to pour in some milk. Mix everything until it's well combined. And now it's time to jazz this up a bit. So I'm going to pour in, I already poured in my bourbon vanilla extract. I sprinkled in some ground cinnamon as well as ground nutmeg. And now I'm going to mix everything until it's well combined. So that's pretty much it for this filling. This is just a filling for our cinnamon rolls. It's not necessarily the same recipe that I would use for a regular sweet potato pie. So our dough has doubled in size. I punched out the excess air. And now I'm going to flatten out my dough. So once it looks like this, you're going to grab your filling. And now we are ready to slather it all over the dough. And you know what? I realized that there may be some uh, filling left over. It's okay. You can figure out what you want to do with the leftover um, filling. But I always realize that I always have a little leftover filling. I just want you to know that you don't have to use it all. So roll up the dough. And now we are ready to cut the rolls. Now we're not going to use a knife. You're going to get some butcher string or you can use regular string. And you're just going to put it underneath the roll, cross it, and there you go. That's how easy it is to cut these. Okay, that is the easiest way to cut it without mushing and squishing it up. So here is my 9 by 13. I buttered it, and now I'm going to place all of the rolls in there. So once the rolls are in there, it's going to look like there's a lot of room. But you don't have to worry about this because after we're, we're going to actually let this rest, okay? And then they'll double in size. So. Now we're going to cover this and we're going to let it rest like I said, but make sure you let it rest in a warm area. We let it rest for 30 minutes and just like I said, they doubled in size. Now don't forget, if you want your free copy of this recipe, visit my blog iHeartRecipes.com. You can print it out from there. And now we're going to bake these. So bake these on 350 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. After that 30 minutes is done or up, 
this is what your cinnamon rolls will look like. Now, we're not going to serve it like this. We have a topping that we're going to make now. And it is really easy. You need two ingredients. We add it in the butter. And now we are ready to add in marshmallows. Really, really easy, right? Think about it. Sweet potatoes, marshmallows, it's like a win-win. So we're actually just going to cook this over medium heat until all the marshmallows are nicely melted and it's nice and gooey. So keep on stirring until everything is nicely melted. So once we're done, we're going to head back over to our countertop and we're going to pour all of that ooey, gooey, sticky marshmallow topping all over our cinnamon rolls. So once everything is on there, you can let it sit for about five minutes, maybe a little longer because that marshmallow topping is really hot. And now you're ready to dig in. Like when I thought of this recipe and I experimented with it, I instantly fell in love and I just knew I had to share this recipe with you guys. It is just that good. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to head over to my blog so that you can print out this recipe and give it a try for yourself. And subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Come on, don't be shy. Head over to Denise's channel so you can see both of her recipes. And visit me every Sunday and Wednesdays for new video uploads.